Hey, Professor Vern, how you doing? I'm doing great. I'm working on an IGPT power monitor. Should I even ask what that is? Ah, uh, probably not. It would take too long to explain. Understood, understood. So, Professor Vern, I was showing some children how model trains work. And they were asking, how do the metro subway trains work? Can you tell me? I'd be glad to. Actually, model trains work off of about 12 volts DC, but the metro subway trains need 750 volts DC to operate. Let's, let's visit a traction power substation and see how it's generated. Absolutely, let's go. Here we are inside of a traction power substation. The hum you hear is due to all the massive energy flowing through the equipment. Professor Vern, this substation room is huge. What does all this equipment do? Great question, Administrator. Let's compare it to your house. Your electrical circuit breaker box gets 220 volts AC from the utility company. This traction power substation gets 13,300 volts AC, also called 13 kV. And behind me here is the main AC circuit breaker, just like the AC breaker in your panel box. Wow, this circuit breaker is a thousand times as big as the one in my house. Absolutely. Next, we come to the step down transformer. Its job is to reduce or step down the 13 kV down to 580 volts AC. Professor Vern, what is a transformer and how does it work? That's a great question. A transformer is basically two coils of wire. There's a primary winding and a secondary winding. Now, depending on the number of turns of wire in the secondary compared with the primary, the transformer either steps up or steps down the voltage. An example of a small step-down transformer is the charger for your cell phone. Well, that is a huge transformer. Now, we're at the substation rectifier. Its job is to convert the AC from the step-down transformer into 750 volts DC for the metro subway trains. Professor Vern, you make this so easy to understand. That's my job, Administrator. So I get it. The Metro subway trains need DC to operate, which is why we need this rectifier. Um, Administrator, let me caution you not to venture too far into highly technical speculations. I'm sorry, sometimes I can't resist. But in this case, you're absolutely correct. Now we come to the DC switchgear. Now, just like in your home, energy is supplied through circuit breakers whose job is to trip open if the current gets too high. These circuit breakers supply up to 6,000 amps of current to the metro subway train. 6,000 amps? But the ones in my house are like 15 or 20 amps. Yes, that's why these are so monstrous in size. Now, let's discuss how the current is supplied from the substation out to the trains. The positive output of the substation is wired to the third rail. The negative output of the substation is wired to the running rails. The 750 volts DC supplies all the energy for the traction motors, the braking, the heating, the coiling, communications and control, all the systems on the train. But it's extremely important to recognize that there's danger wherever you're close to the metro subway tracks. Professor Vern, I can't thank you enough for sharing what powers the Metro subway train. My pleasure, Administrator.